Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Rogue 32V Toy Hauler Travel Trailer behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, make sure you check out the rest of the Byerly RV YouTube channel. If you like all things RV, you can subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when we put up new videos like this. We do training videos, product videos, we go live, it's a lot of fun, so check it out. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You'll be able to keep up with all the latest news and videos here at Byerly RV. Now, let's talk about the 32V Rogue behind me. Guys, this is made by Forest River, one of the bigger names in the business, you could say. You know, these guys have a lot of experience in building campers, and you're going to see that as we go around. Now, we're going to start outside over on what I call the business side, and we'll work our way around the outside, and then we'll do the inside. Lots of stuff here, guys, so stick with me. This is the bigger, uh, you know, we, we carry a few of these floor plans. The 32V has two slide outs. It is a little over 10,000 pounds dry, so you are going to need a sufficient vehicle to tow this, okay? Um, but Let's go get started. Okay, I call this, biz this the business side. This is the driver's side of the vehicle. This is the side of your campsite where all of your hookups are gonna be, your water, your electric, your sewer, and things like that. Um, and to start with here on the 32V, we've got a fuel tank on board. So this is an external fuel tank. I fill it with unleaded gas. I've got a pump right here, and then I can pump that fuel into my toys or whatever I may need. This is also the same tank that runs the generator that we're gonna see when we go up front. Now, walking along, we've got cable and satellite right here. So this is where I can put maybe a portable satellite dish out here, or if my campsite has cable TV as part of my nightly rent. And if that's the case, guys, just like you have to have your own water hose and your own sewer hose, you need to have your own piece of coaxial cable to connect to that, and then you can take advantage of whatever they're providing you there. Now, up here we've got our freshwater connection and city water connection. Fresh water connection is actually the tank and the city water connection, this is where if my campsite has a hose that I can run up to the camper and leave it connected the entire time, well I can connect that right here and then I, I've got constant water, right? But if I don't, that's fine. There's a tank right here. I put the hose in here. I put it and I, I fill it up. It overflows when it's full. It's real easy. And then there's a water pump on board that pumps the fresh water out of the tank and through the faucets and things like that, right? We have an outside shower right here, guys. Um, it's actually high enough up. I can really shower on this. This is pretty cool. So hot and cold running water here, a spray port here for a coiled hose with a nozzle, depending on what you need to rinse off. Black tank flush out. I can't stress enough how important a black tank flush out is you guys the black tank is our waste from the commode and over the course of years you can imagine how difficult it can be to keep that clean having a black tank flush out a lot it's like a dishwasher spinner in there you open the black tank you hook a hose up here it just rinses the whole thing out it's awesome now this particular 32V has a generator. Make sure that you check out www.byerlyrv.com and you look at the current availability, what we have, because you might be watching this video and it might be attached to a unit that doesn't actually have a generator. There's been shortages in the business of generators. So to actually have a 5,500 watt generator on board, this is awesome, you guys. Um, this will power the whole unit. And again, we talked about how we have a gas tank uh, for the fuel. So there's actually quite a large fuel reservoir for that. Up front, we've got our propane box battery and a nice power tongue jack right we don't want to have to crank that um, now moving along to the campsite side of the rogue opposite of where that generator is we have a large storage compartment as you can see there's tie down rings inside here this is where my table is current that can travel okay um, check out the video on the oh is it the 25v i think it is um, and you can see that table actually set up with the adapter and stuff. It's really kind of cool. Another thing that's inside the compartment, there's a charge controller in here for the solar panel that's on the roof. So what we have, is we've got a solar panel, a charge controller, the battery, and that's an independent system that allows that solar panel to charge the battery all the time. Um, and nothing you really have to do there because if the battery doesn't need to charge, that little controller there is going to keep it from getting overcharged and stuff. Also, the size of the door, I always talk about that, but you know what? It's big enough, obviously, for the table, you know, but if the door isn't big enough, you can't fit stuff inside, right? Um, we've got a couple of these, what they call leash latches, which really I can lock anything I want to that, kind of nice. Um, we'll go in, of course, in a few minutes, but before we do that, 
I just want to come over here and show you that we have an outside TV spot right here. Uh, we are under the awning. I just skipped around right there, so it makes it a little more, more fun for Mike. But um, we've got a really nice awning that covers both of these entry doors. And this area right here, this gives me, you can see outside speakers. This is a TV mount. You'll see on the inside we have the same mount, and it allows us to take a TV from here in and out so we don't have to buy as many TVs. I've got a TV connection and a plug right here, okay? Um, the porch, we'll see that when we go in, right? Let's go take a look at the inside of the 32V. All right, so conveniently placed right in the entryway of the 32V, we have our main light switches, awning controls, slide out controls. We've got our monitor panel to tell us how full our tanks are, water heater switch, water pump switch, heated holding tank switch, and a nice little digital voltage meter so I can keep track of where my battery's at. Um, maybe I'm boondocking and I don't want to run the generator the whole time. I don't need to. I don't need the air conditioning, maybe. Then I can keep an eye on how that solar panel and the battery are doing uh, right from here. Real easy, you guys. Very, very cool. Um, we come into the kitchen. So, you know, again, the 32V, we have opposing slide outs. So we have a kitchen slide. Very nice. Three burner stove here with the oven, with the oven lighting. So if you're new to the RV business, you're like, why is that a big deal? Because we never had that before, guys. Um, oven light is very, very cool. Um, you can see, of course, microwave above. We've got storage, extra counter space, outlets where we want them. This is a 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, everybody. Um, we see these so much more now. This is awesome. Number one, right? We got the solar panel, we have the battery. This runs off a of battery, all right? And if I'm not opening it a lot, it runs a long time. Um, but a compressor driven refrigerator doesn't need to be leveled to work properly like the regular RV refrigerators do. And it gets cold relatively quickly because it's compressor driven and, 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 right? And it's got more capacity in the same size space as an RV refrigerator. So you start, you, you see these a lot, you know, when you can sleep a lot of people, which you're gonna see when we, as, as we go through this, you need to feed a lot of people and nobody wants to have to run to the grocery store in the middle of a trip, right? Now, ample pantry space, we got tons of pantry space um, so that we can put just whatever we may need. It's up here, we've got this great, Big sink, deep sink, residential faucet. I've even got an extra little soap or sanitizing station. Um, what you guys don't see is underneath this, there is a door with enough room for not one, but two waste baskets. I could have a recycle basket and a regular basket, okay? Um, remember outside, uh, I mentioned that I sh we, we looked at that TV mount, okay? So here's the TV mount on the inside. This is the part that goes on the TV. And then this is the same mount that's outside so that I can take that TV in and out, okay? Now, all of our rogues have this, uh, this little, little entertainment center that is actually way more than what a lot of these get. This is a 200 watt stereo system that has a subwoofer in the ceiling for real. Um, it's got an HDMI input, of course. It's got a USB input, but it's also got Bluetooth so I can connect my phone to it um, and listen to my music and stuff. Very, very cool right there, you guys. Um, equally cool is the theater, the couch with the theater seating, guys. This is residential level furniture with heated and vibrated vibrating seats and lit cup holders. Um, ah, that's actually kind of cool. See, there's a little, uh, anyway, you know, and, and oh, I've got lighting down here too. You know, if there's one thing about toy haulers, is they tend to be, a, oh, there's a little bit of extra a lot of times, little cool stuff like that. Now, we're gonna save the garage for the end because I wanna head up into this main bathroom bedroom area first, okay? Um, I've got a nice entry into my main bathroom. I call it the main bathroom because it's the full bathroom, right? I've got a, it's not that, there you go. That makes a good cooler. You can put ice and stuff in the bottom of this. Anyway, but a nice shower with the surround so I can set my stuff on it. I've got a nice foot flush porcelain commode. I've got my matching cabinetry in my bathroom, which I would expect. Um, and then we've got an entry directly into the bedroom. So this is really nice, guys. I come in here, you know, these guys do a really, really good job. One thing I don't do a real good job of is making beds, so sorry about that. But um, this, their cabinets are just so deep here, you guys. So your shirts can actually hang like they should. And it's like they even extend, this is a very useful area above the bed. And these guys actually, I feel like they extended it and gave us these nice doors, but this is very, you know, no wasted space, right? And then we can go back out into our main living room and then go back to the garage, okay? So, 
the garage in a toy hauler is what? Well, of course, it's there to pull our toys into so that we can haul things, okay? And we've got tie downs on the floor and stuff like that so that we can tie everything down. But what else is a garage good for? Well, it's a great extra room for people, okay? So just to begin with, you can see, first of all, so there's a thermostat. We didn't, it's on the other side here for the inside air conditioner. And then there's a thermostat right here for the air conditioner that's back here in the garage, okay? This is a half bath. So we've got a nice porcelain foot flush commode and a really nice large sink there, okay? Why is that good? Well, you know, we saw, remember the table? We saw the table up in that front storage compartment. The table would go right here and I would have dining. But both of these can convert to sleeping. They also both fold completely up against the wall to give you the room to pull your stuff in, right? But in addition to these two sleeping spots right here, got an awesome bed. It's very well balanced, easy to use. This is a huge bed. This is like the biggest teddy bear mattress I think I've ever, I've ever seen. These are just super soft, awesome mattresses. And it's easier to put it up than it is to take it down. It literally takes more force, I think, to, to bring it down. But you know, Think about that, we've got this awesome sleeping back here, they've got their own half bath, they've got their own climate control system, and there's even its own entry in and out, and this room gets, what? The bonus porch, right? So our ramp, of course we have a ramp so that we can pull things up into the garage, but uh, what do we use it for? Well, we use it for an awesome porch. I've got a screen room right here. I can drop this down and have this all screened off. I can keep this all open. One of these days, I'm gonna go camp in one of these things where I can literally fish right off of here, okay? This is awesome. So this is, you know, it, the versatility of a toy hauler. You know, I could, maybe I wanted to take one of these out and put a desk in here. Maybe this is my workshop. It could be anything, guys. Um, that's what's so cool about these things. So again, check it out online. You can see our current stocking level, pricing level. If you want it, you can reach out via text, phone, email, make an appointment. Um, one of the salespeople can send you your own personal video if you need it. Um, but uh, make sure to check it out, guys. Check out the rest of our YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.